Greetings everyone, today we are going to talk about Dr. Ratio. Let's first look at Dr. Ratio's skill kit. Dr. Ratio's skill kit is a bit confusing, but I can explain it to you guys in easy words. His skill is to trigger his talent effect. His talent effect attacks the enemy with follow-up strike once and gives you like 4 buffs, 4 kind of buffs. One of them is crit damage and the other is crit rate. Both of them are very very useful and at the max level it will be 12% crit rate and 36% crit damage. If you guys want a short explanation on Dr. Ratio, he's basically a character that deals damage through follow up strikes and the more debuff the enemy has, the more better he gets because he buffs himself depending on how many debuffs the enemy has and his ultimate skill increases the chance of launching a follow-up strike even when he is not using his skill. Mm. If you have silver roof then you already know who to pair him up with but if you don't have silver roof let me show you the characters that you can use on Dr. Ratio. First, Hella. Hella with Resolution Signs as Pulse of Sweat is a great combination because this is a debuff. This light cone gives a debuff and Hella can give one debuff, her ultimate skill and her Eidolon E4 is useless for Dr. Ratio because it decreases the enemy's ice resistance but this is also a debuff. With this you have three debuffs on this one character and Pella have AOE defense reduction which is sometimes better than Silver Roof sometimes okay and as a harmony character you can use Hania if you're wondering about why Hania let me explain the reason why I think Hania is very good for Dr. Ratio is definitely because she can apply the burden debuff on enemy so it counts as a debuff, so it's an extra debuff and she can also support Dr. Ratio because she is a good harmony character, increase the damage deal of every character and Dr. Ratio's speed as well. But there is one single problem that is Hania is coming on 1.5 second phase with Silver Roots rerun and Arzanti's debut banner. But Dr. Ratio is one on 1.6. 1.6 first phase so if you pull on honey and get a 5 star it will be a disaster because of this I have also another solution for you guys remember Dr. Ratio's skill kit it says you need to have at least 4 debuffs on the enemy mm -hmm. and Asta can give the another mm -hmm. one it's a bit risky but Atreus Sparks says that Asta's basic attack has a 80% base chance to burn an enemy target for 3 turns. Now this is something very amazing because Asta gives attack buff which is useful for Dr. Ratio and speed which is useful for almost every character. Now only one question is left and I'm going to answer it. That is some people are saying is Dr. Ratio a good DPS character? Now the answer to this question is very simple. In Hunworth, Dr. Ratio is going to be the top DPS. But among others like the past and second, Jingu and Danhengi Mibita Lunai, I'm not 100% sure because we need to wait. Leakers information are not 100% accurate and we don't know for sure what kind of character Dr. Ratio will be. But from his skill kit, not everything will be changed. We can be assured that Dr. Ratio will be one of the top tier DPS for sure. So that's everything about Dr. Ratio. Now all we can do is wait for version 1.6 and until then save up as much as possible. Thank you guys for watching this video and I wish all of you who want Dr. Ratio best of luck.